Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, we had another great week. Absolutely killed it. Uh, I want to give a, a shout out to my boy Carlos Brown, Muscles Carlos Brown, who I made fifty thousand dollars for. Uh, absolutely unbelievable that I was able to uh, help him out like that. Uh, but that's what we do. We bring down the house. Um, we consistently make money on the sport of boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. And if you follow me, I'm 11 and 2 so far this year. Guys, this isn't a gamble anymore. I'm just showing you how to consistently make money. There's no one in the world that does it better. Uh, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money and let's bring down the house together. Follow me all on the social media 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, also, uh, please. Also, I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, I use DraftKings. Uh, everything I do here is from the DraftKings book. Um, I think it's a pretty fair book, and I just think it's it's, it's easy to use. Um, also, please uh, uh, subscribe to my Patreon. Uh, Five dollars a month goes a long way. It gets you a free T-shirt. Uh, it gets you the lock of the week. Um, uh, you can get a free scouting report. Uh, you can request me to handicap a fight that I haven't handicapped, and I will do that for you. Um, get you the whole thing. Get you a ton of perks, just $5 a month. All right, let's get – and also, please follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, that's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Today's show is going to be um, Connor Ben and Peter Dobson. And I'm a big Conor Ben guy, kind of a Conor Ben truther. I think Conor Ben is him. I, you know, a couple of years ago, back 2021 or so, before Verge got sick and before Conor Ben had his whole steroid bit, I, I was in the Conor Ben, like, Conor Ben belongs in that discussion. Conor Ben is him, right? Like, Conor Ben's an animal. Conor, it's not a two man race at 147, it's a three man race at 147. And Connor Ben is that third that that third dog. I mean, he's a killer, seek and destroy guy. You know, he he's quick, aggressive, throws hard, quick, agile feet. You know, good athlete, just relentless, come forward guy. He's flawed. He can be hit, but so could Verge, right? Someone asked me Verge versus uh, Connor uh, Connor Ben. Who you got? I got the under. I got the under. Someone's getting knocked out. Um, he doesn't show his shots. He, you know, he, he's explosive with his shots. He disguises his punches well. He does a lot of things well. He's, like I said, he's aggressive. He's, he's come forward. He doesn't jab enough for my liking. You know, there are flaws in him. He's easy to hit. He leaves himself open to be countered. He's got this really wide base, and he, and he dips down. And you can hit him. He's good at fighting short. He's relatively short for the weight class. He's super sharp though. Uh, he's super soft on the inside. He's super soft with, with his power shots. He stays calm in the storm. Uh, with with uh, Van Eerden, he got in a little bit of trouble in the first round. And he can be hit, like, you know, uh, but he stays calm. He doesn't come un, un, unglued. He doesn't start, you know, going ballistic, trying to knock you out right away. He stays calm in the storm. You can see he's, you know, he's from a fighting family, obviously. He's got that high ring IQ for, for what he is, right? He's not your typical high IQ fighter. You know, ring IQ fighter because he's super aggressive, but he what he does he does very 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 smart. But right? he's very calm. He's he's in control. He's actually fighting his fight again. But there are things that I don't like about him, like his his, his wide his base. You know, he's fighting Peter Dobson. Peter Dobson is going to be two three inches tall in him. Uh, he's dipping low, fighting low. May help, may hurt him. We're, we're going to find out. Uh, but Dobson's going to be completely outclassed. Uh, Pistol Pete, they call him Pistol Pete Dobson. Basic one-two fighter. Not a lot of lateral movement. He's easy to counter. He's quite slow, actually. He's got pretty bad footwork. He has a tendency to get wild. He, he, he gets, you know, parts of me are going to say he, he's too... You, you go watch the tape on him. Okay, he's too aggressive. He's too wild. And then sometimes he's he, he's too gun shy. Like he doesn't throw enough. He, he, there's really not much to love about him. He's not a terrible fighter. He's stronger than Ox, right? He's it seems like he's got decent power, even though his knockout ratio is not great. 
Uh, but he leaves himself so wide open to be countered. And you're going to see this. Like he and, he, and he and he's a bit slow. He doesn't move much. I think Connor's absolutely going to destroy this guy. I, I mean, if he does it, then it, it, there's something wrong with Connor. And I'm not saying Peter Dobbs is a bad fighter. What I'm saying is there's levels to this. There are absolutely levels to this, and it, there's a it's another level, right? I, I'm not throwing shade at Peter Dobson. He's a club level fighter, and I don't mean to disrespect him. We just saw this with. Uh, Jamel Herring, back late 2023, Jamel Herring fought uh, Nick Molina from Massachusetts. Nick Molina had some 13-0 record, similar record to Dobbs, and it built up a record on the East Coast. It built a little bit of a name, a little bit of a reputation for him. Um, he, you know, not setting the world on fire, but he was, it looked like a decent prospect. He got in with Jamel Herring. Jamel Herring's not a power hitter. Jamel Herring knocked him down twice and stopped him in the first round. I'm not saying Connor Bennett is going to stop him, in the first round, I'm saying he's not going to get. I mean, he may he may not get a first round stoppage, but Conor Ben's going to walk through this guy and destroy him. The levels apart, like you can go watch the tape on him. There's absolute levels apart. So Conor Ben's going to destroy this guy. Let's let's look at the odds. Let's pull it up. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of props on this, um, but I would like Conor Ben any any way that you can take him. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make this a, a two times bet. He's minus a thousand. A two times bet is going to make you 20, uh, 20 bucks. These odds honestly aren't wide enough. Peter Dobson is it, not, like, again, I'm not making fun of Peter Dobson. He's so outclassed and so out. I went back and I watched uh, Connor Ben destroy Chris Algieri. Chris Algieri would shut out Peter Dobson, shut him out. 10 nothing, 12 nothing might stop him. Van Heerden stops. Peter Dobson, and this is the guy. If if you can get kind of bend by TKO, take it. Like I, they don't have it here. If you're using a different book and you can get kind of bend by stoppage, absolutely take it. He's gonna stop him. Um, so that's all we have here. Kind of bend stoppage. I think it happens early too. We're gonna find out about Dobson's chin. He hasn't been in with anyone yet. Uh, but Connor Ben is is two or three levels ahead of Peter Dobson. That's all we got. Uh, obviously, you know this is a lock. Peter Dobson is gonna, uh, you know, Peter Dobson is gonna get destroyed. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. I wish there was more that we could bet on this fight. Is it? They just don't have it. You know, I'm not lying to you. There's nothing else here. The only thing I have here is Connor Ben. Minus a thousand. I would, we were going to do that times two. You could do it more if you want. Uh, but Connor Bent's absolutely going to win this fight and he's absolutely going to win by stop. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book, your all forms of social media. The boxing book comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. There's Always a bull market somewhere, and we're going to show you what that is. Please also follow our Patreon. Subscribe to our Patreon. You get all types of, of perks. The link is in the description. You get a free T-shirt. You get a bunch of goodies. Uh, you get a, a bunch of perks. So uh, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. And also follow us at Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is January 29th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.